about the paintings we are seeing here today? I try to think I'm an audience in a theater, looking at some people acting, and then I'm shouting, stop! I try to freeze the people, and uh, I try to make what happened in that situation before they can act again, being people, being human, make love, fight, whatever. The way you have been talking about the situation of a stage, and I would say there's always a kind of tension in the paintings, that you have the feeling as if suddenly something will start. Something that's will good, thank you. Yeah, yeah that's that, that whole meaning, that's all I do. I mean, that's what I'm waiting for all the time. I'm waiting for myself to understand something as a person living also. I'm waiting for my friends to understand what I mean with that. I'm waiting for my wife to understand that I love her, you know, she still doesn't understand it. I try to explain it every time, act like a good husband, whatever. I'm waiting for something to happen, you know? So, yeah, the medium is important for me because, oh, maybe next time it will happen, you know? That's why I paint all the time. I'm waiting for something to happen. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, good question. I have a good answer from David Hockney. Very good. Ah. <laughs> no, it's not planned. I just, it's not planned. This is oh. perfect. Wow. I just saw David Hockney on YouTube, and a question from an audience was, where do you get your inspiration from? And then he answers, inspiration never visits the lazy ones. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Inspiration never visits the lazy ones. Never visits the lazy ones. I think it's beautiful. So inspiration doesn't mean anything for me. I mean, you're working, you're working, working. If it comes by the studio, okay, here you are, but I'm working anyway, you know? So I like that. It doesn't mean anything, really. You don't think about it. You don't go home and, ah, oh, this is a painting, you know? You go to work and you work and in that process suddenly something happens. Sorry to say, there's no magic there, you know? If it's any magic, it comes like a thief in the night, you know? Then I'm lucky. So it's just hard work. So work comes from work. Works come from work. I think you can, we can see this in your paintings. Yeah. In a way, it's working on each other. It's yeah. working each other. Uh, the technique here with, you know, trying to destroy or take away is because I'm not satisfied with the work. It's not because I like this kind of effect. Um, you know, you work into the cry, to the canvas. It's because I don't like what I do, and I change it all the time with big uh, plastic uh, sticks in the studio. I take it off. But when I destroy something, it's always there. You know, after a fight, it's always something you can take care of. You know, it's always something interesting in a fight. Some words, a lot of bad words when you fight, but some good words in the fight too. So when I destroy it, I keep some tracks. You know, okay, this is, can be something. This can be something. But it's because I think it's so bad to work. You know. Mm -hmm. So the way it's constructive and destructive. Yeah, all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. The idea is very much, you know, I want to take the world, a lot of passion. I know that now, I'm so old now. But then I, oh, you know, I'm away with it. Take away, take away, take away. Normally I start with maybe a lot of people, but I always end up with one or two people. Maybe you have a kind of discipline as well in working, so that you really have your idea. I think all start. artists have, all writers, so musicians, so you have it too, I'm sure. I mean, it's a very strict routine, it's very conservative, I think, it's very logical, uh, you know, no drugs, no alcohol, it's just, you know, hard-working to understand, like being a fosh kid, what's fosh kid? Thank you. What's art? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I'm very proud that she's here, I'm so grateful. I mean, she's, yeah, she's very, very clever. So, I'm so proud now. I mean, wow, two minutes in fame, wow, it's over. <laughs> Thank you.